Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be working on a Chevy Cruze, guys, and we'll show you what needs to be done, guys, if you need to remove or replace your rear Chevy emblem on the trunk. Stay with us, we're going to explain everything from start to finish. Quick introduction, guys. Every car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 videos, including that Chevy Cruze model, guys. We'll have more than 200 videos. Why? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully, guys, you will find the information here. Helpful. If you guys want to save even more money, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can buy car parts and tools for a great price. Now, we have guys this 2015 Chevy Cruze, but it should be uh, the, whole, the same procedure for the whole generation from year 2008 to year 2016. We will open the trunk guys, we remove our uh, trunk, car ca uh, trunk carpet liner guys right here let's open the trunk and i show you quick guys so we can see what's happening with that emblem and see how you can remove it and replace it if yours is broken if it's faded so we remove that thing we have it on the channel if you want to check it out but pretty much you have to remove all the clips and here we have two screws with a seven millimeter socket once we did all that guys we were able to actually come from underneath okay and locate locate where okay that emblem is located and checking it this way okay it's right there guys we just have two guides two plastic guides there is no screws there is no nuts nothing like that guys nothing so the only way to actually remove and replace that emblem is to guys push it from the inside and unglue it from here there is no bolts, there is no screws. I just wanted to confirm that, guys, so you know if you need to replace yours, what you need to do, because some people get frustrated that you may have a bolt, screw, nut, something holding it in place. And this one, guys, okay, I'm trying to focus, okay, perfect, right there. This one doesn't have anything, you just have two teeth that it goes in. So if you get a screwdriver, you can push it out from the inside, just get the screwdriver in that canal, push it, and it should c uh, start coming out. So. Thank you for watching guys, just a quick video for any of you trying to figure that one out. Thank you for watching and see you next time.